to Britain's security from Russia's aggression against Ukraine are not a distant possibility. Therefore, the country's armed forces must be strong enough, according to the former NATO Secretary General Lord George Robertson. We need to recognize that the threats to our country and our citizens are no longer theoretical. They are no longer a distant possibility. They are alive and well in Ukraine today, where Vladimir Putin's Russia has brutally invaded and sought to occupy a peaceful neighboring independent nation state, Robertson emphasized during his speech in the House of Lords. He said that the stakes in this matter are high and it is necessary to look at the depraved conduct of Putin's occupiers in those parts of the Donbass and Crimea that they presently and temporarily occupy. Earlier, the commander of the British Armed Forces, General Sir Rowley Walker, emphasized that his country needed to prepare for war in three years. According to Walker, this need is in particular because Russian President Vladimir Putin will want retribution against Western countries that support Ukraine in the war. The British general also clarified that the threat comes from China, Iran and North Korea. That is why you get to this point by 2027 to 2028. This convergence may have reached some sort of mutual singularity and your ability to deal with them in isolation. A specific crisis that can be managed by the rules-based system, I think, is significantly diminished, Walker said. At the same time, he clarified that Britain is not on an inevitable path to war, but it urgently needs to rebuild its ability to deter future wars. NATO officials and generals have repeatedly stated that Russia could attack the alliance. They shared their predictions about such a threat. In particular, Bundeswehr Inspector General Karsten Brewer said that Russia may be ready to attack NATO territory in five to eight years. During this period, they are likely to gather a sufficient number of personnel and weapons. The 2024 Paris Olympics officially begins today with world leaders arriving in the French capital, but the country's rail network has been disrupted by arson attacks. The incident is predicted to impact an estimated 800,000 passengers. The attacks will affect its Atlantic, northern and eastern lines. Arson attacks were started to damage our facilities, it added. Traffic will be heavily disrupted and a large number of trains will have to be cancelled, according to the operator. French Prime Minister Gabriel Attal called the attacks prepared and coordinated acts of sabotage. Our intelligence services and law enforcement are mobilized to find and punish the perpetrators of these criminal acts, he wrote in a statement on X. France's state railways company SNCF called the disruption a massive attack aimed at paralyzing the high speed line network. In a post on X, SNCF said, a large number of trains were diverted or cancelled, and asked, all travelers who can to postpone their trip and not go to the station. The railway operator said the disruption hit Atlantic, Northern and Eastern high-speed lines, with damage caused to several of its facilities. SNCF said one of the acts was foiled. Speaking to BFM TV, Jean-Pierre Ferrandu, the CEO of the SNCF says that it was France and the French people that were attacked today. I am thinking of all the French who won't be able to go on holiday today, or those who will leave in worse conditions, he says. It will certainly last the whole weekend, because it will take a long time to fix it's a day of sadness today, Ferrandu continues. He says that the job of the railways is a public service, to transport people when they need it, and today we can't do it. Ferrandu also seeks to reassure the French that thousands of people are being mobilized to fix the network, to help guide those who need help at train stations and help people get around where possible. The Paris police prefecture concentrated its personnel in Parisian train stations after the attacks, the Paris police chief told France Info Television. National police said authorities were also investigating the incidents.